We want to focus now on what Alan Greenspan said, this threat of the double-dip recession contingent on housing. The former Fed chairman saying that this decline in housing prices could send the economy into another slump. Lawrence Yoon is the chief economist at the National Association of Realtors. He is joining us now from our Washington newsroom. Lawrence, thanks so much for joining us. What do you make if you had to handicap what Greenspan said? What are the chances we see another double-dip recession if housing prices continue to fall? Uh, good morning. Uh, the housing wealth has about four times as more powerful compared to the stock market wealth uh, just from the fact that it is more widely spread uh, because many middle class are homeowners and they are counting on their housing prices for their wealth stability. Now, we have seen that home prices drop about 30 percent from the peak, uh, but in the past 12 months, it has essentially stabilized, and that's part due to the government stimulus measure, including the home buyer tax credit. In the upcoming months, I do anticipate very slow activity in home sales for three, four months. Uh, Lawrence, now, if we can, I, yes. I just wanted to pick up on what you said, that $8,000 first-time buyer home tax credit. I mean, we know that was extended. Should it be extended again to pr protect uh, the market a little bit? Well, let's remember that the tax credit the contract signing deadline was in April, so that has essentially finished, and most people have already closed on their home. There could be some minor trickle that comes in in July and September, but those would be very small. So essentially, the tax credit is over, so now we are just anticipating that normal fundamental factors of historically low rates and job creation. Job creation is frustratingly slow, but yet it is positive. So as long as we have job creation and historically low mortgage rate, we may get that housing market recovery to take place later this year and if that's the case even though we will have a few months of very slow home sales activity uh, i do believe that prices now back to justifiable Lawrence, levels there's very little room to go down uh, all right you mentioned the low rates what about mortgage resets this idea that we could see more and more foreclosures i mean this is a huge wild card out there uh, the foreclosure is a wild card, and, and it is largely dependent upon what happens to home values. If home values begin to firm up, I think the foreclosure rates will decline. But if the home values take a double dip downward, foreclosure will rise even further. So it is dependent upon home values. And the key question is, what will happen to home value over the next 12 to 18 months? And in terms of month supply, I'm afraid that it's going to go up above 10 months, at least for the short term, near term, uh, just because sales activity will be very low. But as I mentioned, the home values have already fallen to justifiable levels, and there is very little room to go down other than from psychological factor where it could overcorrect. Uh, but I think that given that there is a job creation and historically uh, record low mortgage rates, I think this will slowly induce buyers back into the but market Lawrence, and absorb that inventory. As you said, that job creation is going very slowly. You mentioned the inventory. Give us a sense of context. I mean, where do we stand as far as inventory goes now uh, versus past times coming out of past recessions? Um, the inventory situation, at least over the near term, I think it can hit 10, 11 months. But that would be just due to the, the swings in the sales from the tax credit before and after. So the key test, I would say, is September, October, November, rest of the year from that point onward uh, to see if the home sales can rebound back to about 5 million, 5.2 million. And I think uh, the, the, there are enough job creation occurring to get that level. Okay. Only thing that could potentially hold back buyers is just that psychology of fear factor. All right, Lawrence Yoon, thank you very much. He is the chief economist at the National Association of Realtors.